Many students worry that they won't be able to afford college. Keep in mind that an education is one of the most important investments you can make. We are here to help you understand all your options, guide you through the process, and be with you every step of the way. Basically, you pay for college in three ways. The first way is with scholarships and grant money. A scholarship is money for college you'll not be expected to repay. Take the time to research and find the scholarships that best suit you and apply. Grants are similar to scholarships because, in most cases, you're not required to repay them. Federal and state governments fund most student grants, which are usually based on financial need, student status, and academic requirements. Second comes your money. This is money you've saved, earned through work, or that your family has saved for you. After you've added up the amount you'll get from scholarships, grants, and your own money, you may still need to borrow money from the federal government, banks, and other sources. Remember, when you borrow money, you'll have to pay it back with interest. U.S. federal government loans should always be explored first due to their lower interest rates. You may also need private bank loans to pay for your college costs. These loans have higher interest rates than federal loans. If you're unable to get a private bank loan, you may still have a gap to cover. That's okay, as you may be eligible to finance the gap with the Apex Institutional Finance Program. There are items and tasks you'll need to do to prepare for the process of paying for college. You might think of this process in this way. Prepare, apply, receive, repay. Understanding the sources of money and the process really lays the groundwork for what's to come then you can apply for scholarships, grants, loans. You'll use the Westwood Student Finance Portal to apply for grants and loans. A critical part of the application process is completing the FAFSA. This is a federal application that determines your eligibility for all types of federal grants and loans. Once you've applied for grants and loans through the Student Finance Portal, you'll receive your financial aid award letter telling you how much money you're eligible to receive and from which source. And then repay. Yes, borrowed money must be repaid. The majority of students who attend Westwood have in-school payments and payments when you leave school. Students who receive APEX financing will be required to pay a monthly payment while in school. When you leave school, you will continue to pay at a new monthly rate depending on how much you owe. But, if you can pay more, it'll significantly reduce the amount that you owe after graduation and the total amount of interest charges you'll pay. Out-of-school loan payments begin on most loans when you graduate or leave Westwood. The most important thing to remember is to only borrow what you need to attend school and to be a responsible borrower. Do not default on your loan payments. It creates serious consequences. College costs money, but an education is one of the most important investments you will make. In fact, it can change your entire future.